You're just going to leave the top secret ingredients and everything that you worked so hard on just laying right here for everybody? Hope nobody sees it. Well, we're giving you enough time to see it. <laughs> All right, so what is what are we doing today? So we're making truffles today. We're making four flavors. Wow. This is something people can do at home uh, yeah. if they want to. I'm making two uh, pounds at a time, but you can just make one pound if you want to at home. Right. And this process takes you like what three days, right? It's like three different. Yeah, one day to make the um, truffle mix and put it in the refrigerator overnight, and then the next day you take it and you can spoon it out and then make the, the little balls of uh, truffles and then put them back in the refrigerator for another hour and a half and then chocolate cover them. Two mm -hmm. cups of cream and we'll come to a just come to a boil. Shut it right off. I didn't know we were a cooking channel now. Yeah. <laughs> Two cups. Now it's starting to uh, heat up, but we're going to turn it off in a second. We don't want it to go on too long. Yeah, you can now see it's it starting to bubble up. Okay, nice. now it's going. I'm going to turn it off. Put it there for now, and now I'll go get the chocolate. So for people at home, you just go to this thing, <laughs> and you just pour the chocolate in. You guessing? Yeah, I'm just guessing. Okay. Two and a quarter. Oh, so you got it. That's it, okay. All right, perfect. So you did get it. Two yeah. and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Just get this chocolate down a little bit. When's the last time you made the truffles? Oh, a year ago. <laughs> so it's been a little bit. Yeah, I'm a little rusty. Exactly. So now we're gonna add we're gonna make this orange flavored. You can just leave this if you want at home and just make it um, just chocolate flavored. That's yeah. good enough too. So this is gonna be orange with two shots of orange. And then one table teaspoon of mold inhibitor, which you don't need to do this at home. This is just for if uh, you're going to be selling it. But if you're making it at home, you don't really need this. And we're going to take our mixer. There, we're going to add the, the heavy cream now. Actually, at this point, we just want to make sure it's all completely mixed up together. And then grab a spoon and eat. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it. And I think that's about it. You want to lick it? <laughs> Who gets to lick the... What do you call these? I don't know. Spoilers? <laughs> so now we're going to put uh, saran wrap on top and put it in the refrigerator. And then how long do you have to let it sit in the fridge for? We, I, I set them in overnight. So for people doing it this home, would they would they have to do it for the overnight as well? Yeah, it'd be better to do it overnight and then the next day to roll them out. Well, it looks good. Yeah. So now let's cover it in saran wrap, put it in the fridge? Yep, that's all. All right. What's your technique for uh, saran wrapping? <laughs> you have to really <laughs> rustle with this stuff. <laughs> I was going to say, are we going to find an easier way to use <laughs> saran wrap? Because, I mean, I mess it up every time. Yeah, I know. Me too. Terry doesn't have a problem. I think it's just me. Cooper, how are you feeling? Good. Oh are you excited god. for these truffles? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they already look good, and they're not even close to being done yet. Yeah, we d I've only done these once when I was going to, like, first got here. Into the fridge they go. We follow Steve. So these won't be seen until tomorrow now? Yep, not till tomorrow. I'll have to put a label on here what they are, and then we're all set. Okay, so the next time we see this is tomorrow. All right, Steve. So it's already been a day. Mm -hmm. that, that was a quick one. 
Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, oh, wow, perfect. it's creamy. Yeah, it's perfect. Do I get to try this? Or? <laughs> no, I don't know. If, okay. if you're good. Because yeah, <laughs> it looks really nice. It just might be perfect. It just might be perfect. Alright, so what's the process now then? Put it like that. That's it? That's the process. That's so you it. just, you let this sit, and then you no, scoop it. If we fill the tray up, we're going to put them in the refrigerator, so they will harden up a little bit more, um, so we can chocolate cover them. Oh, yeah. A lot of chocolate. <laughs> yeah. For real. <laughs> but very, very yummy. Oh, yes. well, you can try one of these, too, if you want. Yeah. I think I got to go for, like, the little ice cream scooper cookie. I don't. Is that like a? See, this that's like a too small. small. I want to do this, but you want to do it? Get some gloves on. There, that's the perfect size. And then, then when they're chocolate covered, they're bigger. Yeah, they look nice. So this is a perfect consistency, then. It is pretty nice. It smells like orange. Then when your your gloves get sticky, you're gonna need to like wipe them off because. Yeah. I remember just, this. Uh, <laughs> it smells really, really good though. I'm a fan smell. of orange and chocolate. You're not yeah, rolling I, I don't it in smell front it. of your face. You guys smell it? I can no. smell it. You, how do you know how much to scoop? I'm kind of just looking at what Steve did. Yeah, just make them like that as much as you can. That's an eyeball. Yeah. But oh, like hail sized. Yeah. Actually, that's really big hail. <laughs> that would be a scary yeah. piece of hail to come down <laughs> on you for sure. So this is what we do for all four of them. Wow. Uh, so how four. many trays do you think you can get out of something this size then? This should be approximately 40, 35 to 40 pieces per pound. <laughs> this will be about two trays worth. Oh, okay. Right. So you'll get, Cooper will get one full tray and you'll get one full tray. Yeah. Yep, if we're lucky, I guess. Yeah, if we did it right. <laughs> if I did it right. Now, other people have, uh, there's another way to do this, too, is if you have molds and you make a shell of a, of a sort of chocolate-like. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, in the shell, you put this, this uh, uh, truffle mix into a, a funnel and then fill the uh, when shell it's, up. When it's liquid or when it's like this? When, when we first made it more liquid. Okay. And then fill it right up and then... And then let that sit in the refrigerator and top it off later. Where, huh. But we're doing these by hand. Yeah, this yeah. is a cool way. For sure. I like this way too. It looks more fun too. I mean, now I smell it. What other yeah. flavors did you guys make? So there's the orange chocolate, raspberry, raspberry. peanut butter, and chocolate. Peanut butter and chocolate? Peanut butter. Flavored. I bet that one's going to be amazing. Peanut butter's awesome. Steve gave me a little sampler on one of those like sticks yesterday to make sure that it tasted good, and I can confirm that it did taste very good. I'm going to need one of those samplers, Steve. <laughs> 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 I'm going to have to confirm. Make sure you didn't poison it for everybody else. Yeah, you know, got to test sure it. That, like, it tastes good cold, too, because I tasted yeah, yeah, yeah. it before it was in the fridge, so maybe it tastes even better now that it's been sitting in the fridge. Yeah, had I need, more time I need, to, yeah, I need to mix together. I need to get all aspects of it. Like, I just need to... Before it's chocolate covered, I need it after it's chocolate covered. You want to try one? Yeah. We'll let you try it. What do you want me to do? I want you to eat one. Oh, eat one, okay. Yeah. Let's well, see what you think. Yeah. Cooper can give you one, and then you can taste it. <laughs> okay. okay. Sticky. Wow. I'm nervous because I feel like when it's going to be covered in chocolate, it's going to be a lot of chocolate. Yeah. Is it going to be harder? Like, is it going to be crunchier? Oh, yeah, it'll be hard, just like on sort of yeah, chocolate. Yeah, like, the chocolate just coating so on the outside is going to yeah. harden. Because they give me the same tex like texture of, like, creams, but better than creams. Because I don't really like the creams too much. Yeah. <laughs> they're not my favorite. I do, yeah. they're good, but, like... Not everybody likes them, so... Anyway. This, this, is, this is better than the creams, for sure. Steve is a good cameraman. Look at him go. You could do it all, Steve. And, uh, you could do it all. I don't have to be here. I can just yeah. leave. <laughs> okay. See you guys. Okay. See, See you later. See you later. <laughs> he doesn't know how to shut it off, though. <laughs> yeah, so I almost feel like the reason we don't do this a lot is because it's a little time-consuming, obviously. It, um, 
it's hard to keep up with the demand and all that stuff but for like an at-home project out of every kind of candy that we do make this is hands down one of the most recreatable ones to do at home so if yeah, you like you just kind of follow this video step by step it's like you could definitely be sitting at home and doing this with us yeah, just like kind of videos. take your time a little bit and no making truffles yeah and then you get to eat the truffles and stuff or you could buy ours whatever yeah, works, yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> whatever whatever one you want to try if you want to make your own and then do like a a comparison like, yeah, you could get family, ours too like, and then like taste test and be like guess the hercules one or guess see. what one mine is yeah there you go i like it because honestly you can even buy the chocolate chunks from here and really just yeah and then you, you can, can even really recreate we're trying to describe to uh Scott too, and it's like the Godiva truffles. So you can yeah. throw one of those in too, and just see how much better ours are than that. Yeah. We made a video that she couldn't really get our creams because uh, she we didn't deliver to that area of the country or something or uh, what country she was in, mm -hmm. and uh, so she made the cream exactly the way we make it, of course on a small scale in a kitchen. Yep. And then she covered them and everything. So she made a video and saying how she couldn't get the chocolate from us but she made it just like that so she really did have hercules candy huh you know because she made yeah. it the same way i think a lot of our videos are very helpful informational they can very top like secret sure. yeah yeah sure. like in the beginning of the video when we had the top secret sign right above our yeah, and we don't disclose we don't. anything so just listen closely and maybe you can hear the yeah. subliminal messages of what we're telling you to do to make it and ignore the actual list of things step by step to do underneath yeah, the top secret that's thing. all i think that's actually why 600,000 yeah. subscribers have seen it so yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you guys cover these in any other chart like milk dark or white or uh, milk and dark milk and dark yeah hmm. white sounds fun though yeah. I don't like the idea of like white white truffles. The peanut butter would probably be good with white. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like the peanut butter one. I want that one in darker milk. So you're just gatekeeping the yeah. white chocolate <laughs> and yeah. the peanut yeah. butter, not <laughs> letting it happen. Sorry, <coughs> it's kind of not cool. <laughs> okay, I think you're speeding through faster than Steve. He's been talking. That's true. You got that camera in his face. Oh yeah, he was filming me for a little bit. That's he why was. Too. Yeah. He's a he's a newest hire for Craig. Yeah, he's the newest filmer. <laughs> That's really cool. Who would have thought you were getting an upgrade today? <laughs> 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 Moving up in this world, Steve. Oh boy. Promotion. Oh boy. AKA just more work. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. So you got you didn't get your full two trays, but this is a pretty much out of the whole bowl. That's a tray and a half. Yeah. It's not bad. And They're also like we could have maybe spaced it out better and made it two trays. Yeah, we could have spaced them out better and then they'd make two trays. <laughs> it would have been two yeah. trays if we just spaced. Cooper them just out. said that. I know. He had a dream. <laughs> he had a dream. <laughs> I had a dream. And now these okay. go in the fridge. And how long do you have to let them sit in there for? Uh, uh, like an hour, you said. Yes. Yeah, at least an hour. You guys are coming to the bottom of the peanut butter now. You guys look. It looks like there's more. This made more. Is that true or no? Um, uh, well, so. could be a slight more, but it's, it's about the same. I mean, I might have been a little heavy handed. I mean, first go, but I don't think <laughs> two pounds, two and a, two and a quarter pounds. If it's a little over, I you know, I like going. No, as long uh, as it's not under. Yeah, it's nice though because it like definitely when you get it straight out of the fridge, it makes it much easier to work with. Yeah. So if you're at home doing this, keep it in the fridge for like good like overnight before you go to work with this and make sure that it's like is genuinely pretty cold because when it starts to melt in your hands it makes it a little bit harder to work with but yeah. this right here is a lot easier it's more like clay yeah so just try to keep it in the fridge as long as possible maybe. yep and yeah. honestly i feel like if you need to put it back in the fridge put it back in the fridge like yeah. you ain't gotta rush, rush it. it yep that's it what he said yeah, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, out of these uh, flavors that you made, which one's your favorite? I like the peanut butter and the plain chocolate one. I'm a I'm sucker for the plain chocolate ones. They're really good. Yeah. It's yeah. just like... I mean, how can you go wrong? You can't really go wrong with it. It's like chocolate at its finest form, yeah. honestly. <laughs> it's like just chocolate and different textures all working really well together. Yeah. I feel oh, like yeah. this would be pretty cool to like drop in a coffee, too, because I know some people drop our creams hmm. in a coffee. You drop really? one of these in a coffee. Drop them in a coffee? Yeah, drop them in a coffee. Okay. <laughs> 
It's the sweetener. I didn't add any sugar. <laughs> like, I literally just dropped, like, a chocolate <laughs> drop into my coffee one morning, and it was really yummy. Like, mm, perfect. <laughs> That's good. I like <laughs> That's that. That's good. I like that. Uh, so I pulled a Steve in the morning. I said, taste it. I said, That's good. <laughs> <laughs> We were just saying, though, you kind of make a mess, but it's fun. <laughs> Our gloves are all messy. We got a lot of messy napkins, but. <laughs> <laughs> now, this one, you guys actually did the pretty much a full two trays. Yeah, look at us go. Like what we wanted to the first time. Solid work, Steve. Try hard and eat right. <laughs> Take a shower and lay still. That's the funniest thing. <laughs> Take a shower and lay still. What? <laughs> what? My grandpa was yelling at us like it was hot in the house, and he would always say like, "Take a shower and lay still." That's how you gotta do it. Take a shower and lay still. I love old people; they're my favorite. <laughs> Back when there's no AC. All right, so you got it tempered now. It's all ready, ready to go, all tempered. It looks great. Now what am I supposed to do? Good job. Oh. <laughs> uh, now what? <laughs> okay. A little sticky on the table when it's on the tray, but it's because they're so soft. They're so Even with sitting in the fridge for that long, they're still soft? Yeah, it probably should have sat overnight. It would be harder. It's nice and creamy. Yeah. See this? It's a little stuck. Nice. Yeah. So with people at home doing this, what would you recommend they to have to heat the chocolate up to what temperature? Heat it up to 112 and then let it cool down to uh, 80 degrees or uh, to make it cool faster too you can take like uh, some ch little chunks of the chocolate and throw them in there and keep and stir it up till that's all melted and that will bring the temperature down too. So once it's 80 degrees, then you can chuck a cover, like uh, use a fork, uh, like strawberries or uh, uh, truffles or anything you want to put in the chocolate, just dunk it in and then put it on, use a, a wax paper if you can, and then just set it down with the fork on, on, the, tape, on the paper. Yeah. That's all. That simple. That's, yeah, that's all. <laughs> just all that. Or if you get lazy, you just want to eat the truffles as is, you have these in the fridge all hardened up and you can just eat the insides. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so whatever you guys want to do at home. <laughs> but we're giving you a rundown on how to do, you know, every step, so. Yep. It's nice to have the option to be able to chocolate cover them. And then how long would that just sit in the fridge, like once they're chocolate covered, before they get nice and... Oh, no, they don't have to go in the fridge. Oh, well, you can do it at home, put them in the fridge to help uh, cool them off, but you don't really need to, unless your uh, room your room temperature has to be below 70 degrees, so if it is more than 70 degrees in your room, then you will have to put it in the refrigerator. Oh, okay. See, that's good to know. Yeah, room temperature is the big key. Right here, it's below, below 70 all the time. It's 68, 67. 63 sometimes. Sometimes, yesterday. yeah. <laughs> I yep. was freezing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, it's a little cool. The cooler, the faster you can work. <laughs> All right, Steve, this is a new location. New location. This is different. Yeah, this is not where you were yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we're making hard candy and doing truffles. Yeah, so, I mean, in the last part of the video, we were out there, but you ended up having to wait a whole other day because they were, what happened? They're too too soft they're sticking right on the uh, paper on the wax paper uh, so you did have to and end up waiting another day yeah and then they'd be misshapen yeah. when, I, when I try to grab them so so now we are on to the dark chocolate yep dark chocolate orange truffles and they're not sticking anymore no they they're will soften up though uh, over over the time that I'm in here but by the time I get to the end it'll be okay Do you usually have to wait two, like a, another full day to let them cool like that, like you had to? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes if I make them early enough, maybe one flavor, 
or right. so. But yeah, it's better. It, yeah, it's usually a day. You were just trying to rush it. Yeah, I was trying to hurry, but sometimes there's things you can't hurry. Yeah. And then you got the milk chocolate all done here. Yep. These look amazing. When you take these, I used to take them to a family party. I, I'd hear them in the other room. I'd hear people. I could tell what they were doing. I'd hear them, and they go. Oh, you're so good! <laughs> <laughs> I knew what they were you know doing. What they're talking about. <laughs> you like having your own little private office in here? Yeah, it's kind of nice. <laughs> and what do you got to temp this to? I forget. I always forget yeah. the temperature. Yeah, it's got to be. It's a little bit warm in the kettle, so I gotta cool it off a little more. Right now it's 90 degrees. In the kettle, it's 100. And what temperature you usually aim for before you start covering? 80. Okay. So pretty much just play around with it until it yeah. gets a little cool down. Like I told you before, though, too, the first puddle is the one that takes the longest. Once you once you uh, get the puddle cooled to 80 degrees, yeah. then you usually leave a little bit left, and then just add a little handful to that way you can just keep going uh, yeah. without stopping. Huh. But the first one you gotta uh, gotta wait. All right. So you got it down to temperature. Yes, it's ready now. Finally cooled off. It's ready to go. Nice and tempered. Now we'll take one of these truffles and we'll throw it right in. Throw it right in the chocolate. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, without that topping, you probably wouldn't be able to tell anything. Yeah. So they're easier to work with now? Yeah. They were really stuck before. What do you top the chocolate ones with? Well, we just leave them plain. Mm. Those. Try not to put too much sugar on it, just enough to, so you can see it. Does it have a taste difference? Does it make it taste any, any different? Well, oh, yeah, I just don't want it to be too grainy. Yeah. You know, so it's just, just for decoration, but. So I try to be careful not to put too much on there. Just yeah, like true. these here, I'm going to try to put just enough so I can see it. So when you look at it, you can say, oh, that's orange. Yeah. So I was thinking, like, if I was to do something like this at home, I mean, I don't know where I would put them or how I would even start this process. So what, what do you think, like, heating up-wise would be the best? Because I don't know about microwaving chocolate or, like, how that works. Yeah, if you have a nice small little double boiler, throw in a pound of chocolate maybe or something. Mm -hmm. Just melt it down slowly. So uh, don't microwave it. Yeah, that's better. It's kind of hard to microwave uh, without burning it. Right. You're losing some of the taste. Yeah, the taste everybody down. tries to hurry it up too fast with a microwave. It always burns it. So the best thing to do really is to melt it over a double boiler nice and slow. and then. Then you won't evaporate any oils out of the chocolate. If you do it too fast, you'll can evaporate. Can you make like a double boiler at home, like in a certain? Oh yeah, you can just use a pan and put some water in it and put your other pan on top of it. Oh, okay. That's all. That's all double boiler is. And that's all this is anyway. Yeah, that's all this is too. So. And then once the chocolate's all melted, get it up to like 112, and then then you can take it down. You've got a. Uh, you can take it out of the water. And let it cool down and just mix in it slowly until it goes down to uh, uh, approximately 80 degrees mm -hmm. and then from there you use a fork or a spoon or whatever you or whatever item your chocolate Probably. cover and uh, strawberries if you make truffles at home the, the truffles just dunk them in the chocolate with a fork and then set them down like on some kind of wax paper or something yeah and then uh, there you go and then that's it but the key's got to have uh, 80 degrees, or even less, 79, 78. Yeah. But uh, if it's over that, then the, you will get blooming. You will get the uh, cocoa butter rising to the top, which it's not the end of the world. It's for you. Yeah. It's, you know, you'll just see it, and then it's, you can still eat it. Yeah. It doesn't mean it's bad. It just no. means it's not going to have that, like... It's not going to be shiny or not going to... It's not going to have the look like this. It's yeah. not going to have this look. If you... But if it doesn't really matter, that's okay. Yeah. 
you can go and put this on like any countertop, right? Like if you wanted to put the chalk on a countertop. Oh yeah, you could use a, a granite countertop. You could use you could use a Formica countertop. Any countertop, just about. Uh, but really. even if they want to do it out of a bowl or something, that's fine too. Oh yeah, yep. Do it out of a bowl. You can you can fill molds with, with the same same method too. Just use a spoon and fill up a mold with a spoon. Right. Yeah. And stuff like that. You know, it's it's doable. A lot of different methods. Yeah. So it's not all having to be one thing. I mean, if you can you got enough chocolate, you can do it by hand like this. Then go ahead and try it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta wipe then, your hand off all the time yeah. with the knife. I usually just hold the knife still and I go across while I'm holding the knife. That way the chocolate just drops right here. Yeah. Rather than otherwise, if you're just wiping your hand off, and you're getting, then you're gonna get it all yeah. over the place. So. Well, yeah, so. There is a method to my madness. And then. Anybody that tries these truffles at home should definitely tag us in those pictures. Oh yeah, yeah. Take some videos and show us how you do it, how you made them. Yeah. That'd be great. Even if you just wing it and it goes yeah. wrong, still send us. Yeah, uh, it's all right. Yeah. It's just for fun Learning anyway, right? Too. Yeah, exactly. So if anybody is interested in sharing how their truffles came out or tr covered strawberries or anything really, but yeah, yeah, definitely just send us. Uh, you can either DM us on Instagram or. Do a main post, post it on your Instagram, and then tag us in it. Yeah, Either way, it's all fun, it's all fun. So, there was one lady that made uh, uh, her and her daughter <laughs> from the UK, and they had a counter and they made some bark and they, they made bark and they had gloves on and the little girl, I think she must have been maybe four, yeah, four years old. She's got her hands in the chocolate and patting <laughs> it down and everything. It was so funny. <laughs> and she says, "Look at ET." It kind of does look like E.T. Yeah. How'd you do? Did you do that on purpose? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good, though. You're an artist. You didn't even know it. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's gone. Gone. He's flying away on his bike. <laughs> there he goes. See ya. <laughs> All right, so you're pretty much halfway, if not fully done with the dark chocolate of the orange. Yep, so. almost done now. And then you get to do a nice taste test. I'm gonna drag Cooper in here. Okay. And then we can do one, we'll cut a milk one in half and we'll cut a dark one in half. And right. it's, it's gonna be great. Yeah. Maybe you can cut one more in half or something for me. I don't know. <laughs> just a little, just a little taste. Yeah, uh, okay. All right, that's fine. <laughs> if it's okay with you, it's okay with me. I guess. We got four different flavors in there, ready for you guys to taste test. Can I just have all of them? You probably could, yeah. Okay, cool. Which one are you thinking that you want, Steve? It's chocolate, that's orange, that's maple nut, right? No. Uh, wrong. No, what's peanut that? Peanut butter. Oh, peanut butter, that's right. And raspberry. Yep. Okay. That's cool. can, I, can I touch it? Only you guys are eating it, yeah. Okay. I give them permission. Yeah. <laughs> I'm jealous, so. Yeah, you should be. I know. Smell Cheers. Like smells great. Cheers. Cheers. Ding. Boom. Cheers. It's probably even better. <laughs> it's probably even better with uh, at the more it waits. Cools down. Gets a nice crunchy outside. Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> it's good. Is it good? Mmm. I mean, it can't be bad. When you eat truffles and you moan. What'd you just say? When you eat truffles, you have to moan. Mm. Oh, these are <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that. Because they're mmm. They're so can't good. We can't speak English after you eat one oh. of these. No. You just mumble. It's very thick. Oh. Like, it has yeah. that chocolate, like, kind of, you got to take a minute. That's but, true. Oh, my God. Boy, that's good. That's, mm. one, that's your oh. favorite one, right? Mm -hmm. Just the milk and milk? Yeah, just chocolate. Yeah. What one's your favorite out of those? Either the one we just had or the orange, because I love orange and chocolate. You want an orange one? I mean... You're, you want a peanut butter one? <laughs> I'm not going to say no. I just came back from lunch, but I'd eat yeah. it. <laughs> it's dessert. It is dessert. Dessert. How, you can never go wrong. 
You should get them. They're creamy. They're delicious. Or you can try and make them at home. They are great. Make it at home. Yeah, and then follow our ours. tutorial pretty much is what yeah. we did. Mm -hmm. Just follow our step-by-step -step and they can make this at home, right, Steve? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just as easy as that? Yep, they can just take your time and do you it. You can just eat the filling because, honestly, yeah, that's the best part. That is that the best is part. That is so good. Oh, you can take the, the truffle mix if you don't even make these and put it on a cupcake or put it on a oh. cake or put it on, yeah. uh, just spread it out. Make it frosting, basically. Yeah, like a frosting. Oh. And then put it on the refrigerator. And How dare he say crazy. that. Now I'm, now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> that's good stuff. It's can you make me a cake with that frosting? You, if you do that, you'll be a hit yeah. at any party you, you go to. Automatically. And then you'll hear everybody in the other room going, Mmm! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so good! <laughs> yeah, so this is the chocolate one, and then I'll just do one of the... another milk one. Milk, and then... Uh, oh, peanut butter! I need peanut butter. It's right in front of me. Yeah, I want dark, dark milk, milk. So for this, this one, one every it's one. every flavor and milk and dark, and then there'll be one extra. Orange, orange. And I alternate them so that they're all milk, dark, milk, dark. Oh, okay. And then I need raspberry. And then do I get to pick the last one that I want? Sure. This is my box. Yeah, it is your box. Um, I'm going to do one of the dark, this one right here. Chocolate? Yep. Dark chalk. Dark chocolate chocolate. There we go. <laughs> this is Scott's box. Yes. Look oh at that. God. And it's so pretty. Yeah. Don't you guys want to buy this? This, is, yeah. could, this can also be bought <laughs> online, right? Uh, it's or been so it long since we've had truffles, like, I think. And the newer stuff. <laughs> we do sell the truffles online. Okay, so they yes. can go online to buy them. Heck yeah. Okay. Highly recommend you do. What, what do the box covers look like? But yeah, that's what it, it looks look like. So and then pretty. we put a little gold loop around it too. Like the other assorted boxes we have too. Same idea. These look very nice. You did a good job, Kara. And thank I, you. I'm I going barely to did anything. I'm taking this right home now <laughs> with me. This Enjoy. Is going, this is going home with me. Enjoy. It's made with love. It is made with love. By Coop and Steve. Thank you, Steve, for making me my truffles. Oh, you're welcome. I'm taking them home right now. I made now. those just for you. I know you did. It's okay. I, I, I'm going to buy all of them, actually. So. You're yeah, probably. Buy them all. Thanks, guys. See ya. Bye. <laughs> all right. And then to finish off the box, we do one loop. Yep. Kara caught me on my way of running out with the box and said, I have to put the loop on. Yeah, and I did. Well, when you're driving home, I don't want the lid to fall off. You know? Yeah. It'd be and, bad. and we got to show them how it actually looks when they buy it. Yeah. Too, so. so this is the finished product and with the loop. Thank mm -hmm. God Kara caught me. Thank God. <laughs> okay, now give me my box. I got to go. <laughs>